Tech nowadays is getting pretty pricey. So I've been on a mission to find the different tech and gadgets that lean more towards that affordable and cheaper side of the spectrum, but at the same time still actually being high quality and useful. So in today's video, I wanna share my 10 favorite affordable pieces of tech that I've been loving this year. If you're interested in checking out any of these items for yourself, I've included links to everything in the description box below. Now I've broken out each of these pieces of tech into three distinct categories based off of their use case. We have productivity, travel, and health and hygiene, basically covering almost all of the main areas where we use technology in our everyday lives. Starting off with the travel category, especially since I just came back from my awesome trip to Italy, the first affordable piece of tech that I suggest looking into is the Anchor GAN Prime Power Bank. I literally refused to leave the house without this guy. One of the biggest struggles I have when traveling was just trying to fit all of my individual charging blocks for all the tech I was bringing with me in my backpack. Also, even though I love my Google Pixel Fold, the battery does tend to drain a bit quickly when I'm traveling, whether it's because I'm watching movies on the plane or pulling up Google Maps to navigate around the new city. So having some sort of portable charger was another additional thing that I needed to stuff in my backpack. And what's great is this Anchor Power Bank solves both problems as it is a two-in-one hybrid charger, being both a 65 watt wall charger as well as a 10,000 milliamp portable charger all in one compact package. And what I love the most is it has three ports that you can plug into, including two USB-Cs and one USB-A. This allows me to charge three different devices at once. Of course, when you do that, it will lessen the amount of power for each port, but that didn't really matter too much to me because I only do that when I'm charging all of my devices overnight. Definitely a great grab that's around a hundred bucks. In fact, I think as of the making of this video, it is around $70 on Amazon, which I think is a great deal for sure. The next budget travel tech that I think is worth having is a Bluetooth tracker, such as an Apple AirTag or a Tile. Pro. I know these may seem like a gimmick, but let me tell you, they work. Just recently, I lost my keys while I was in the airport, and the only way that I found them was because they were attached to an Apple AirTag that I was able to track down through the Find My app on my iPad. They were literally under the conveyor belt of the security line, so now I basically have them in a, just about everything. I have the AirTag hidden in my scooter, my backpack, and I typically throw one in my check bag in the case that it gets lost somehow. They run about 20, 25 bucks each, and you could typically get a pack of four for under $100. Can't stress it enough, these are 100% worth it. The last affordable piece of tech in the travel category is this folding portable keyboard from a brand called Sammers. Now, I got this keyboard because I noticed that as much as I love my 12 inch iPad Pro and the Magic Keyboard combo, it gets a bit bulky and heavy alongside my 16 inch MacBook Pro inside my backpack. So I had to find a portable keyboard solution that was lightweight while also still providing me a full length keyboard experience. And this definitely fits the bill as it only weighs around like five and a half ounces and it's so small that it can literally fit in my pocket. But even though it folds up small, when it's unfolded, you pretty much get a standard keyboard experience. And even with me with my larger hands, it doesn't feel super cramped when typing. Also get a stand that you could put your devices on and the keyboard itself has a battery life of around 40 hours with continuous use or 180 days when it's on standby. And what's actually really cool is you can pair this keyboard with up to three separate devices as well. One of my favorite on the go setups is actually putting my Google Pixel Fold on the stand and then having an ultra portable setup, which is perfect for quick note taking or jotting down video ideas when on the go. Now, what you won't believe is actually the cost, which is around 45 bucks. But right now I think you can actually snag it for around $30 on Amazon. If you've been looking for something that's like this, I would go ahead and add it to your cart right now. Now, before we head into the next category, I want to announce the winner of the Pixel Watch giveaway. Drum roll, please. Congratulations, Joshua Codes. Send me a DM on Instagram so we can get this baby shipped out to you. Thank you so much for being part of the community and celebrating the 20K subscribers with me. Okay, back to your regular schedule programming. Moving to the productivity category, this is where I found the most unique and underrated tech gadgets under $100. Starting off with this Pomodoro timer clock. I don't know about you, but sometimes it's a bit challenging to focus on one task for a solid amount of time. At first, I tried using my phone timer, but ultimately found out that I just get sucked back into being consumed with social media and all the notifications that popped up when I was starting and stopping the timer. I had to find something that was still digital, but also didn't give me the opportunity to get distracted. So after doing a quick search on Amazon, I found this cute little guy. Its function is super simple. Once you turn it on, you just flip it down to the allotted time that you want to have dedicated to non-distracted work. And then the timer will count down and beep once that amount of time has passed. You could also flip the device back up if you need to pause the timer for any particular reason. This version has six preset timers starting at three minutes and it goes all the way up to 30 minutes. But you can also set your own custom time using the arrows on the top of the device. And what I love the most about this timer is the fact that it has 
has a super low profile, it's extremely easy to use, and it's pretty cheap as I got it for around like 30 bucks off of Amazon. I've honestly been a lot more productive with this thing. In fact, I've used it the entire time I was editing this video. Now, along the same lines of productivity at my desk, the next gadget that I love using is my Logitech MX Master 3S for Mac. I've had this mouse for around three to four years now, and honestly, I don't think I could ever switch away from it. It's ergonomic, it fits nicely in my hand, and I also love how you can customize the different buttons and scroll wheels on the mouse across various different apps on your computer. For example, for my Mac, I set up simple gestures to navigate through different windows and desktop screens, while for Final Cut, I've actually customized the mouse to speed up my editing workflow. This pair with my Logitech keyboard is I'd literally take this combo over Apple's keyboard and mouse any day. The last budget item in the productivity category are the original Beat Studio Buds. The reason why I wanted to include these in my list is because they just come in the clutch when you need some decent wireless headphones. Whether you're using them at work, at home, or in the gym, they're compact, they work seamlessly with both Android and iPhone, they have good sound quality, they're just like the perfect companion to those larger over-the-ear headphones, especially if you want something a little bit more low profile. Honestly, I always throw these in my gym bag or backpack just to have a backup set of earbuds in the case I forget my more expensive ones. Note there is an updated version of these earbuds which are called the Studio Buds Plus, which have a little bit better noise cancellation, but if you check out this video right here, you can see why, honestly, I think that you'll be just fine with these guys. So far at the time of making this video, the majority of the color options are on sale for around $100 on Amazon, so I definitely grab those before the price goes back up. Now for my favorite category, health and hygiene, which includes the affordable tech that helps to improve your health and well-being in some shape or form. Starting off with the Wave Solo. Now I made a video on this massage ball a while back and it's still my favorite go-to gadget when it comes to recovery. I use it on my lower back and under my feet at my desk when I know I'll be sitting for a long time or I'll use it to roll up my glutes or my hamstrings before doing a leg workout at the gym. It's the quietest one when compared to its competition and the three different speeds provide the perfect amount of vibration depending on your needs. At 70 bucks, you really can't beat it. Now I'm actually gonna pair these next two pieces of tech together because they equal around $60 and they work hand in hand when it comes to your personal hygiene. Now that I'm about to be 30, I really wanna make sure that I am taking care of my skin, teeth, and hair. Well, that should be an easy one. And to my fellow guys out there, pay attention. We really need to take care of our skin. Proper skincare is not just this woman's only club thing. This is the Philips One Sonicare toothbrush, and this is the Hue Facial Cleansing Brush. So when it comes to the Philips One toothbrush, I got tired of using those cheap travel toothbrushes, and my other Philips Sonicare toothbrush was just too big when I tried fitting it into my toiletry bag. This is perfect because it has its own case, and it charges through USB-C like my other tech products, and it gives you vibration cues when you need to brush different areas of your teeth. For the Hue Facial Cleansing Brush, after doing some skincare research, I found out that using your hands to wash your face isn't as effective as an actual cleansing brush. And what I love about the Hue Brush is the fact that it has five different levels of vibration speeds and two different brush types which help to get a deeper cleaning in your pores across the various areas of your face. The Hue Brush also has a metal bottom that can be used to help assist your skin in absorbing the skincare products that you add to your face. It's super portable, and this alongside the Philips One toothbrush will always be found in my toiletry bag whether I'm at home or traveling. Now this next piece of tech may be a bit controversial when considering it as a tech gadget under $100, but hear me out. The Whoop 4.0, one of the best fitness trackers I've recommended in the past because of its simple design and in-depth health tracking capabilities. It not only shows your heart rate and how long you slept, but it also gives you insight to how your body has been recovering, and it gives you a reading of how much stress your body can take for the rest of the day. Whoop also just added workouts that you can track through their app, as well as integrating OpenAI into their software, which enables you to get health insights based on the data the app is providing. To me, this changes the game for Whoop and honestly may edge it out over the Oura Ring in my opinion. Now, I know you might say, Noah, on the Whoop website, it says the year membership is around $240 and not $100. Well, we're in luck because if you use the link in the description of this video, you can get your first month with the Whoop tracker for free. Take the 30 days, see if you like it, and then from there, decide if you want to keep it or not. And if you want a more in-depth review on the Whoop, check out my video right here. Or if you want to see other tech gadget items that I love, click here. Remember, stay healthy, be happy, and embrace the hype. Woo!